Hey there, just a quick check in. Have you ever had a fever and someone told you it's probably malaria? Just dick met. Well, before you start guessing, I'm Z and I'm going to teach you how to properly use a malaria test kit so you can always test and know for sure. Trust me, it's so much easier and simple to use. First of all, let's take a look at what comes in a malaria test kit. So always make sure your work area is clean and be in gloves, especially when you're working on someone. This here is a malaria test kit device. Always make sure it's sealed. Here we have our alcohol pad for disinfecting the finger before pricking. This here is a malaria test buffer which helps the blood move smoothly in the test device. This is also a specimen transfer device for collecting the blood from the finger to the test device. Lastly, we have a lancet for pricking the finger. Now let's get into it. Unseal the malaria test device after you've checked out for the expiry date. Now, with the help of our alcohol pad, you gently disinfect the finger to be pricked. Time for the prick. Just like a mosquito bite. Quick, sharp. And that is it, you hardly feel it. With the help of the transfer device, you collect the blood from the finger onto the test kit. Per our standard operating procedure, we add three drops of the buffer to the test kit. And we calmly wait until after 20 minutes before reading our results. This is a malaria positive test result indicating the presence of the malaria parasites in the blood and you've got to seek medical attention. And this is how a malaria negative test result looks like indicating that you don't have the parasites in your blood. Lastly, when you have a result like this, it's considered as invalid and I'm sorry, you've got to prick again and do the test again. I hope I didn't lie about this test being so easy to perform at home. Well, I hope you learned something new from this video. If you have any comments, any question, or any specific test you want me to cover in my next videos, please do also leave it in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel as well as liking this video if you haven't. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you around. Bye.